Welcome to the online Innovation Readiness Self-Assessment Tool. My name is Dimos Tulumidis and I'm a research associate at the Hellenic Institute of Transport of CERF. This module incorporates a tool which developed for the second level of the analysis of Sprout Urban Policy Model and aims to guide effectively the mobility transition taking place in cities today by supporting the mobility planning process. As it was mentioned in previous module, the innovative urban mobility ecosystem consists of elements and sub-elements concerning innovation readiness and livability. The innovation readiness sub-element can help to capture whether a city is capable and ready in deploying or enabling the deployment of new mobility innovations. To assess the innovation readiness of a city, one or more questions assigned to each innovation readiness sub-element with a descriptive range from 1 to 5. An indicative question can be seen in this slide. Each different response corresponds to one score. For example, the lowest value 1 means that city has neither SUMP nor SULP. This slide visualizes the methodology that was followed to calculate the score of each city. At first, a city can answer to 21 questions then the score of each question is multiplied with the question's weight and finally the score of each question is the weighted average of the responses. At the bottom of the page you can scan the QR code and visit the Innovation Readiness Self-Assessment Tool to assess your city's maturity. A small demonstration of this tool will now take place. So, let's start with the survey. The first questions are general information about the city and the person who takes the survey. And then to the questions about the, the elements and the sub-elements. After you do it for all the questions, you can submit and then choose yes, you want to uh, submit your results in our database. At the top of the results, you get the overall score of your city. There are two tables. The first one contains the strength points and the weak points of your city based on your answers. And the second one is uh, the, com the comparison of your results with other Sprout cities or other cities from the database. The following figures represent the score the module has calculated in graphs and radar plots. So you can see graphically uh, which are the strong and which are the weak points of your city. And finally these bar plots contain uh, the score of each element compared to other Sprout cities. Finally, there are two tables. The first one contains the average score of each element, sub-element and question, the lower threshold and the upper threshold in order to understand uh, when one of them is uh, critical in your city. And the second table contains the total score and the score of the elements uh, for each city of the database. The second part of the module will now present how advanced are cities in Europe in deploying or enabling the deployment of innovative mobility solutions. And it will actually present the status of the first and second layer cities uh, by showing their weaknesses and the strong points. So as you can see, uh, cities followed the same procedure we mentioned before, took the survey and then the score of each uh, city was calculated 
and you can see that Gatlinburg uh, was found uh, the most ready to adopt innovation, whilst, uh, while Calis was the least ready. Here is a map which contains all the different uh, first and second layer ci uh, sprout cities. Uh, it can be seen that the northern cities then have higher scores of innovation readiness. When it comes to the elements, cities have a higher score in the climate and typology element when the lowest uh, score corresponds to smart and innovative resources and infrastructure. Same research has also been conducted to sub-element level and you can see here that Ioannina, for example, are weak when it comes to cities' capacity or industry diversity. Uh, this was the module. Thanks for your attention and enjoy.